I came up with the idea for the blimp um, in reaction to uh, the media, lack of media coverage. It was just sort of, you know, kind of daydreaming around about how we could get around it because he was having trouble getting attention. Um, so, but the, but the idea was a little premature and it sort of went by the wayside. And then about five weeks ago, Elijah Lynn um, revived the idea and um, he got people excited about it again. And so I actually found myself sort of like him, like, you know, coming along in sort of middle way, like, uh, yeah, I, you know, hey, I have the domain, I bought Ron Paul Blimp, and uh, sure, I had this concept back then, and I'd love to be a part of it. So I sort of folded into his efforts. And, and, and this all happened online, correct? That's right. Elijah revived the concept in the forums, and then, um, and then from, from that point, I came back in, and uh, over the internet, all of this happened. And then actually, uh, towards the end of that, uh, a gentleman by the name of Jerry Collette came in with the idea to start it as an LLC. Uh, and so that's how it all developed. Now, can you, can you explain why, how this is different from maybe a political action committee or another uh, affiliated group that it works with a campaign? How you, can you explain how you're a company that has uh, it's not affiliated with the Ron Paul campaign whatsoever? Well, I can, I can do my best. I'm not the, the, a law expert. I, I don't have that completely down. So everything that I say can't really, you know, be taken as the actual fact of setup and so on. But basically, what I understand is that um, we, we're acting sort of like a, a store that might sell Ron Paul T-shirts. You can go in and, and you have one message for sale, and if people want to buy it, they can. Um, this is we have one, so. It, it, it's not a it's not a contribution to the campaign. We're actually a store that will make money off of the T-shirt. So this operates in sort of a similar way, where we have one message, uh, an advertising message that you know, um, similar to a T-shirt with Ron Paul on it, to advertising him, um, that you can come in and buy uh, time for. So one person would come in and say, buy 10 minutes of time of that advertising message, and the next person might buy another 10 minutes, and well. This person bought 10 minutes, and when that 10 minutes is up, now the next person's 10 minutes shows up. So that's kind of how this is operating. And, and so how much money is needed to keep this? It's basically a flying billboard for Ron Paul. How do, you, how do you keep this in the air for however long? Well, first of all, how long do you want to keep it in the air, and what do you need to keep it uh, a flying around the country? Um, well, we want to keep this in the air all the way to the inauguration. We'd like to you know, have Ron Paul win. And we'll keep it going as long as we can to have him help you know, help him do that. Now, aside from this blimp project, you are also responsible for organizing the two uh, giant fundraising days for uh, Dr. Paul. Is that correct? Well, I I, I played my role. There, I, I I always see them all as group efforts. Um, to be uh, you know totally honest, the original concept for the uh, November fifth event. Uh, came from a, a guy, a name, gentleman named uh, James Sugra, who lives out in Huntington Beach, California, and uh, he put the idea in a video to have 100,000 people donate $100 each for a $10 million day. And I found that video and put it in the Ron Paul forums, and uh, people responded very well, and started asking uh, to, for someone to make a website. And so I said that I'd do that. Uh, at that point, people made the graphics for it. I didn't make the graphics myself. Along with those graphics, they sent me banners uh, that people could use to promote it. Uh, someone else took those graphics and made that flash countdown clock that some of those who are following the event are familiar with. And at that point, um, I, I, I created a, a subscription box using FeedBurner service where people could uh, sign up and pledge their, uh, th their intention to donate $100 to the RonPaul2008.com to his campaign on November 5th. And when all those pieces were together and in place, Ron Paul supporters took those banners and just used also word of mouth and propagated this all over the internet and made it viral. And as more people learned about it, they in turn told people and so on and so on.